Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I try and do weekly videos on the outdoor survival do-it-yourself and reviews. And in this video, I wanted to do a review on the Solo Stove Yukon. This is a fire pit. Ooh, a little bit of shifty shift. Uh, this is a fire pit that we just got for my birthday. Uh, the wife treated me to it. And we decided to get this one because it's big enough to fill up our new deck that's a little bit on the larger side. Check out the review and let me know what you think. So last night we towed in the solo stove on our jet sled and we were pulling it behind our snowmobile and we had it strapped down a whole bunch and we got this cover off of Amazon and we're actually liking it a lot. Uh, before we brought it up here, we've been using it at the house and this thing definitely repels the water. I'm currently standing on the deck we built last fall but you wouldn't know that unless you knew what to look for. There's a lot of snow out here. We spent the morning digging out the deck so we had some place to put the fire pit. We opted for the ring stand so that we could place the fire pit directly on the deck. This was one of the few wood-fired pits that you can actually do this. A lot of them you have to build some sort of platform to keep the heat from destroying the surface. The main body of the pit rests directly on the ring. And this top ring is flipped over from its storage position. The Yukon fire pit can handle logs up to 22 inches in length, and it has an outside diameter of 27 inches. The pit itself is 16 inches tall and weighs about 38 pounds. The whole thing is made out of stainless steel, which will last a lot longer than traditional fire pits. So to me, that's where the high cost kind of gets offset because you know it's going to last a long time. The stove has an MSRP of $5.99, but I've seen them do a lot of sales and they just recently started doing first responder and military discount. All right, so in a nutshell, this thing is double walled. And so what happens is Cool oxygenated air comes in through there, gets heated all the way inside these walls, and then comes out these holes on the inside to ignite the smoke that is otherwise unburnt. And then on the bottom, we have ventilation holes for the main combustion. Alrighty, so starting the fire inside of this thing is pretty much the same as any other place. Only you have walls that kind of keep you from getting at the sides. But aside from that, I'm just going to lay down some cardboard and some newspaper. Just because we kind of got to get rid of it here at the cabin so we don't have to bring it down. Um, it's optional if you want to use, you know, Bob Ross packaging material. Um, I hear it works a lot better. The walls of the pit make it a little bit awkward to start the fire, but it's not difficult by any means, especially if you have purpose-made fire starters. The stove puts out some smoke until it's all warmed up, at which time the secondary combustion takes place and the amount of smoke is reduced to about 10%. From there, all you'll see is heat waves coming from the fire pit. It's pretty cool. After burning for an hour in the snow, we had very little melting of the snow, which gives me the confidence that it won't damage the Trex decking once the snow melts. Since we had all the snow on our deck and it was nice and compact, I decided to make us some furniture to enjoy the view. This is one of the best applications for an avalanche shovel. So that is my review on the Solo Stove Yukon Fire Pit. Overall, I think this is great. I think it's a perfect size for about six, maybe eight people. When they claim that it's pretty much smokeless, I would say that's probably pretty darn accurate. I wouldn't say it's smoke-free, but I would say probably 90% smokeless. 
Um, there's a little bit of smoke, especially in the very beginning, but like right now, all you see is just heat waves. And if you're downwind of it, you don't get all like the irritation in your eyes. You're pretty much just getting a big blast of heat. Um, but overall, I think this is a really awesome pit. Uh, it's a little bit on the more expensive side, but if you have people in your group that might be a little more sensitive to smoke, asthma, what have you, um, or you just like to not have like this huge signature of like a smokestack, um, it's also a really good thing, which is the reason why we chose it. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also check my Facebook page, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps me know these are the kind of videos you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye.